there's a character that's relatable to everybody. So when you sit in that audience, it doesn't matter if you're a father, a son, a mother, a daughter, anything, a grandparent, anything. There is somebody in this production that you can relate to. I think the story is really, really a story of our day as well. It's timeless. I think our production is simply incredible. It's so colourful, yet really, really full with meaning and full of emotion. Uh, the music in La Cenerentola is one of the highlights of uh, Rossini's uh, work and uh, I think the inspiration and uh, the jokes in the music, the, the funny moments, the fantastic connection with the, what's going on the stage, I think this is, this is the, just uh, really top, top quality. When I met Tomasz, I was still in the opera studio um, at the Bavarian State Opera in Munich, and it was my second season there. We're talking, it's eight years ago now at this stage. The interesting thing, I suppose, is that he's seen my vocal growth along with my dramatic growth and what I've learned to do or not do <laughs> on the stage. I really trust him to push me and let's try and find, you know, new boundaries and, 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 and try and find new colors. If you want to have a really good time, then come to Welsh National Opera to see Cenerentola, because it's, it's just a piece that, that gives you uh, so much joy, joy of music, jo joy of, of a great story. The musical standard is really quite outstanding. The orchestra are playing so excitingly, I can't even really put it into words, the energy they bring. But it's, it's something different when we get to a piece that Rossini did that's full, there's a lot of humour in it, a lot of jokes, a lot of really, really funny things. But there's still a lot of heart.